Welcome to the machine of love. Welcome to the machine of hope. Welcome to the machine of peace. Welcome. 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 May you shine brightly. Love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. Our Prince of Peace, who comes forth on the great white cloud of his utter magnificence, for the dawning of the kingdom age has come, and the great white cloud appears with his everlasting gospel as he sends forth his sickle of love. I am the gospel writer of the everlasting gospel. First video under this channel. I'm just being ignored. People uh, not liking me, people not leaving me comments. Well, I need someone to, to send me a hundred dollars. <laughs> I want to do this full time, even though I've got a bunch of ignorant people in the world who's not even acknowledging nothing. I've, I've put together all the mysteries of the ages through my materials and people are like, the, uh, uh, not to be insulted, but don't you believe your Bible? Don't you believe Jesus? Don't you believe Moses? Don't you believe Isaiah? Don't you believe Malachi, Zephaniah, Zechariah? I'm connecting all the dots, making it understandable. And people are deathly afraid of me because they've never understood prophecy correctly. Truth is, we have two different futures foretold. We have the healing, um, heal the world of Michael Jackson, Isaiah 2's that it showcases that prophecy that will beat our swords of the spirit, the put away the, du the butter knives and uh, adopt the uh, sickle of love for he, our Lord Jesus Christ, Isa Yeshua, uh, Emmanuel is our sower of seeds of love from Amos 9 and his um, reap, reaper. Um, I've got nothing left to do for uh, that sower of the seeds of love has overtaken me as his reaper and his love transcends beyond all that we have imagined. So it's time, welcome to the machine of kingdom age love, kingdom age understanding. Welcome to the machine of the 1000 year golden era where man will finally be able to get along together because no more shall they see through a glass darkly. No more shall they be blinded. Their, their, the glory of love now will burn off all the blinders of all the people so that we can finally see clearly again. And in this hour of that happening, beloved, it's time to listen to the voice of Rod Stewart the prophet. He said, may you grow to be proud, dignified, and true, and do unto others as you would have done unto you. The golden rule. This is the one world religion, the one world faith foretold uh, as the, the religion and faith of our risen Lord, the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, with no condemnation in his mouth for anyone. For that was an addition, clearly, of mankind that changed the word of God and brought forth an opposite meaning. Well, these are the days of Isaiah 54, and Israel now inherits all the Gentiles as it is written. Read it for yourself. So it's time, people. And uh, listen to uh, Kristen Stewart. Um, I'm just going to put on my glasses here because I can't see no more. Listen to Kristen, Kristen uh, Stewart from the latest Charlie's Angels. Good job, Kristen. She says, if you respect yourself and love yourself, that's the only way anybody else is going to. So understand that beauty is far more than just shining for others. You don't need to ha have a perfect face to be beautiful. Being ugly or beautiful is a matter of our inner energy. And true beauty always comes from the heart. Thus saith the Holy Spirit to Kristen, The Lord said greater things would the sons and daughters of God do than he, for he knew 
that ones like you would come with truth in their mouth uh, and you would say things uh, above very much better. And it is true. And Sylvester Stallone, Demolition Man, Rocky, he says, your spiritual sense will make you either a winner or a loser. For every champion uh, was once a contender that refused to give up. So remember always Rocky. And uh, we are overcomers, and we shall. And uh, uh, we will fight no more forever uh, because our war is finally over in the heavens and earth. As it is in the heavens, so shall it be on earth. Satan has been removed, and the alarm sounds. It is time to awake. The Lord says, I shall forgive your iniquity, and I shall remember it no more. And that puts away the accuser of the brethren for 1,000 years, so the people of love can prosper. And he says, I shall return my terrifying anger. Jeremiah 30, 24, in the hour of the uh, Joshua generation, who shall now go in and inherit their promise. And then shall the 144,000 shine as love as sweeps the earth as the fire of benevolence and charity goes before our great white throne on high to immerse this world in a world of fiery flame. For he is the bringer of our refiner's fire to turn wood into iron and silver into gold. It is time to ascend up, people, for we are angels, we are man, and we have chi within us. We have power. And here now the prophet special head who uh, is a master of levitation, real or imagined, it does not matter. Danny Wolverton, highest esteem for Danny over many, many men. Uh, I've read some of his stuff that just blows me away, saith Daniel, the latter day one of Daniel 12, 13, who arises to embrace my destiny as Elijah, even though the world be ignorant against me, even though the world will not respond to me, even though the world does not like me and gives me no likes on YouTube, and even though they all, none will give me a comment except Shasa and uh, uh, Burnell uh, Washburn. Good, good channel. Ke check out his music. I'm proud of that young man. So a uh, special head says homeless uh, homelessness doesn't have to be anymore. Watch his video. It's it's humorous. It's called Homeless Man Levitates on New York Subway. You'll get a laugh out of it. Stevie Starr, the regurgitator man. He says this, and I love Stevie. Uh, he does, uh, more does similar things in his freak show act. And that guy is as death. And uh, he is the revealed lawless one. And God cannot come back, according to Thessalonians, unless the revealed one is revealed, the lawless one, and unless the great falling away happens. So it's time, people. It's time the wheat and the tares cannot grow together any longer. Leave all religion, all, all, uh, all churches, mosques, temples, everyone who has a special club, and they don't have a joy, joy club. If they got a special club for members only and everybody else is down, run like hell. This is the vision of Habakkuk 2. And it is foretold, let those who readeth the vision, heareth the vision, run. Let them run, people. Behold, my soul might not be always upright and neither is yours. And my soul might be transgressed by wine and so has yours. Probably at some point, Noah got drunk. But let the wise hear now that uh, these are special days where we no more need to regurgitate the garbage that we've been fed. It's time to change. And it's time to leave yesterday alone because yesterday is forgotten and yesterday is no more. To we only have today and that is a present for God, from God, for us. So heed Gwen Stefani, beloved, she says, act as young as you feel. You're not getting older. You're getting more entitled to be fat, your fabulous self. <laughs> Stay optimistic and listen to Daniel Stern. He says, there's time in life when you think you're lost, when every turn you take seems to be wrong. And then just for a moment, you finally see a light and uh, you begin the long climb into it. The light is here at my station, beloved. Please help Trudy, Darlene Owsley, and Daniel 
uh, brother and sister prophetic team from Windsor, Ontario to arise in the splendor of God's most hopeful uh, lovingness for a new generation that he wants to save us from ourselves. And uh, Kem Clement, the prophet who's now in glory, foretold before Billy uh, passed in the glory that two more Billy Grahams would arise in this world. And I guarantee you, Trudy and I are it, whether you guys like it or not. Tough titties. Get in line with Morg if you don't like what I'm saying. And no, Daniel Stern was true when he said there are times in your life when you think you're lost. It's time to be found again. And uh, it's time to climb into that light. So heed the voice of Jimmy Stewart, my hero. Uh, if, if we don't tr uh, try, we don't do. And if we don't do, why are we here on the earth, he asked. Fear is an insidious and deadly thing, says the spirit. It can warp our judgment, freeze reflexes, breed mistakes, and worse, it's, conta and worse, it's contagious, big time, Jimmy said. And the Holy Spirit, believe it or not, spoke through him. Those were words of God. For he is a child of God and still is. He's not departed from uh, the land of the living. He's more alive than Jimmy ever was. And the, the, the twinkle of the little bell is still ringing for Jimmy Stewart always and evermore, forever. And know this, that our everything to everyone, beloved, comes forth by a spirit of love. And he says, perfect love casts away all fear. So fear not anything except hate. Uh, that wants to take over all bitter hearts. So it's time to unplug the racist religion of this world. Any religion that has the special me, me club and everybody's damned that's not in that club, it's time to leave and run and go not back. The wheat shall come with me. The, the proud, the arrogant have no ground to stand upon. I'm connecting all Bible prophecies so it's finally understood. And the veil has been ripped by Esau Yeshua Jesus. He is the roaring lion of Zion who is worthy to unseal his own seals. So here Martha Stewart, she says, without an open mind, you can never be a success. And Bill, Bill Ben Stiller says, don't pretend to be something you're not. Just be who you are. That's what's really cool. <laughs> it's true. Rod Steiger loved the guy. The most important thing is to be whatever you are without shame. People, that's the key. It's to get rid of our shame because uh, God has made us to be who we are and we are who we are, whether that's good or bad. And he looks upon all of our hearts. Keep your love light on and just love and be as little children. Commit not the sin of of uh, unforgivable sin where your light would go out and then you'd be a manger living everlastingly not because you don't have no body for your light of love that is made of your resurrected body that lights our way if it goes out we perish and that is our hell that we did jesus did not invent it as more claims so, beloved, know that our shame can be put away and know that we have an all-seeing God that sees absolutely everything and he chooses to be exactly like Sergeant Schultz out of Hogan's Heroes. And he says, I know nothing, I see nothing about our sin. Absolutely nothing. Though it's been crimson, it is white as snow unto him. And this is the revelation of truth that he has always had a blind eye to our sinfulness so that, so that he does not shame us. So why do we let his love correct our faults, correct our f flaws? And uh, he does not see one of us as we are, but as the sinless angels whom we shall be. That is why we shall judge the fallen ones before us, and we are fallen, and we shall judge them in love, saith Elijah, the latter-day Daniel of Daniel and Trudy fame as brother and sister team arises. Uh, I'm wearing his uh, sneakers because I'm smoking and I'm running. And Trudy, she's wearing the slippers because she's got a medical concern. And uh, she's doing all the Facebooking, the tweetering. So um, pray for us, people, because our truth is reluctant to come forth because people don't believe Jesus. They don't believe Moses. They don't believe the prophets. There is no faith on planet Earth for the word of God's prophecy because nobody has ever understood it correctly. 
And all I can tell you is, people, we have, it's like Eden ahead of us, if people will believe me. And that's what the Bible says. So I'm not inventing nothing new. John Steinbeck said this, a sad soul can kill you quicker than a germ. So get away from all the sad souls of the world. Run, flee, fast. What good is the warmth of summer without the cold of winter to give us sweetness, people? We've learned some hard lessons along the way, but it's time to move along because the spring of his doing something new is finally here. I've heard boring sermons all my life. I'm doing something new. What? <laughs> well, now he's doing something new, people. It is manifested prophecy now. It is history now. It is his story. It is love's story and know that love is far stronger than justice ever was the word of sting the prophet in spite of our differences we are all one people beloved standing as one and we are whether we like it or not we're going to sink or swim together and we got to be ready to be overcomers of love so the foretold future of death shall not even come so here emma stone emma says Flaws are my favorite part of people usually. We all have flaws, and there's some good things about our flaws. And it's time to quit being closed-minded and as shallow as a glass of water, where you could never contain the floodgate and deluge of his mighty, mightiest love and charity and benevolence that he's throwing now, casting down upon all people of earth. And Oliver Stone, hear him. Never underestimate the power of jealousy and the power of envy to destroy. Never underestimate that. And it comes from within as we let ugliness out from us, as we uh, judge others, even though uh, we don't care if we're judged. Let those with uh, um, uh, uh, no sin cast the first stone. It amazes me how the... the, the uh, moral majority of the word the world the so-called the hypocritical uh, fundamental uh, uh, good goody goody club they point at uh, others who are uh, different uh, the straights will point at the gays and they'll say you're going to hell meanwhile they got just as much porn and crap in their in their side of the story because they're just walking dildos with ears most of them and you know it's true, beloved. But now shall come the time for the rich to fix the earth. In accordance with uh, Isaiah 61, the transfer has begun. Uh, Kirk Douglas was kicking it off. He gave like almost $100,000 of his money to charity. And uh, this shall become very common. Michael was filthy rich. He didn't need his money. So he gave, uh, Kirk gave it with Michael's blessing. So it's time to be a giver of love for unless somebody else's happiness be becomes ours, we don't have love. If someone else's happiness don't make us happiness, we don't have love. That is the truest definition of love that has ever been, I believe. So here now, Jason Statham, uh, my absolute uh, favorite action uh, hero of these days. He says, "I've come from nowhere, and I'm not going to, sh uh, and I'm not to, too shy to go back there to tell everyone. The love is sometimes fake, but the hate is always real, and that's true. This world, all the religious people, they have hatred towards us people, and it's time to leave it. It's time to leave their hypocrisy and their hatred behind. The love." is sometimes real but the hate is always real so it's time for the great falling away to begin and i am the one who cries out i hear our lion of zion calling that he wants to return but the word of god has declared that he cannot return until the lawless one be uh revealed and the great falling away happens by his word initiating it this was what was hidden and bailed throughout history and false understandings of his word. Here now, Daryl Strawberry. Here I am, a baseball superstar, falling into the pits, having everybody write you off, and then having God say, I'm going to use your mess for a message. He said that to me too, people. But everybody's ignoring me. But I, there's someone who wants to send me $100 from Australia, and their name is Ernie. Ernie 
please. Armageddon.owsley at gmail.com. Help, help the, the weeping. I'm the weeping messenger of the weeping prophet Jeremiah. And his kingdom age covenant of peace and love for all mankind has come. Even if people are spitting at me. Calling woe to those calling good evil and evil good. I'm getting hate mail. That's all I get. That's what I am getting is hate mail. Oh, Trudy and I are going to have a, a good viewer's mail. That's all I got. Well, no, I'm, I'm exaggerating. Shiasa and uh, 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 Burnell Washburn sent beautiful, beautiful messages. And I think that's about the only two that I have. Uh, no, there's been a few off color. I might be exaggerating. Maybe I've got five comments out of 20,000 views. It's time for someone to send $2 to the messenger of love so that he knows that somebody gives a fuck. Here, Patrick Stewart. He says, we have freedom of religion in this country, but with that does, does, but that does not go, but with that does not go the opportunity because you are a person of faith to impose your beliefs on others who do not share them. That is, that is, brutality and that is uh, that's people in this world with their religion they're like um, bullies they want to peck on your head and force cram their beliefs down your throat when uh, reality is we have nothing but desolate heritages empty religion that it's not been built totally upon love and uh, so no Barbara Streisand said this Nobody on earth has the right to tell anyone that their love for another is morally wrong. People, you know, this world is fried and it's time to turn it around. Love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. I hope you've enjoyed this fullness of time of Gentiles. And when that comes, the Bible promises that when the fullness of Gentiles comes, all Israel shall be saved. And Isaiah 54, all Israel, the seed thereof, shall inherit all the Gentiles. Because when it comes, all are saved because of the covenant God made with all mankind. Jeremiah 32, 27. And it was changed. And a false distortional faith of condemnation and uh, fear came forward. And a world looking for demons under rocks. Oh, <laughs> my little pretties. Am I the big demon? Maybe I should go stand over with Mr. Morg. <laughs>